Hello guys, it's been a long and finally we have one of the newest ROM in Android 14 community for POCO F1. So this ROM is particularly not that much interesting or quite a new, but it's surely something new in the market. Introduce an Infinity X OS based on Android 14 for POCO F1. So without any further ado, let's see how to install this one and also a quick walkthrough. So as usual at the very first time let's navigate to settings and see on what rom this phone is running on so this is the latest or we can say the second latest build of rising os the latest one just rolled out and i might make video on it but yes this is running on the rising os which is the first build moving to the telegram channel as usual you know the drill and every links are in the description where this telegram channel holds all the links of the roms you just have to go on this notification where you will see infinity x os and all the other stuff such as the support group screenshots and also the download links you simply have to click on the screenshot just to view if any screenshots just in case if you want to also after that you can just click on the download link and you will be landed to the page where you can download this rom file once you click on the link you will land to the page where you will have two types of file that is the vanilla and the gapps build in my case i am downloading the gapps as there is no hassle of downloading the gapps separately so that works perfectly fine so in my case i am not downloading any such file because it has been already downloaded and it is stored into the folder that is the downloads so let's see what we have to do further so now as you can see that this is the file which is downloaded and this is the rom.zip file also including that we also need some prerequisite files which i will link down in the description those files are the firmware and the dfe as usual all my all of my old viewers know that these files is mandatorily to be flash and it is quite important now without any further ado let's enter into the recovery mode and let's start the flashing process you will land to the recovery and you just have to use this recovery which is by Reen and we have been using since long. You just have to click on wipe and select all the partitions. Make sure and also as a tip that all these partitions must be checked properly and must be wiped. If any one of it's missed it might cause an issue and you might end up in boot loop. Checking that just swipe to confirm flash and the partitions will be wiped. Once it's done, you can just go back and do the next process. Now the next step is you just have to go back and after that the step still continues. You have to click on install and you have to select the files. That is the files which we actually need and these files must be flashed in proper order. So first just click on the firmware. After that click on add more zips and after that select the rom.zip file. Once it's done, swipe and this flashing must take place. Let me tell you guys that flashing a ROM will take about 2-5 to five minutes. Sometimes in just 2 minutes or just a minute it gets done but just wait for a while it will be done. Fast forward now our both of the files are flashed and all the success note shows that it has been flashed successfully. Now the last but not the least step that is flashing DFE. For that you just have to click on mount and check box the vendor button. Once you do this, go back and flash the DFE. So click on install and now select the DFE from the folder and you are good to go. Swipe to flash and that's how it is. It will be flashed in just a second. Now we have flashed all the files including the ROM. Click on reboot and now select system. Doing this, you will have POCO logo or POCO boot animation. Also in a while you will have the Infinity XOS boot animation, which will show and which will be an indication for us that the ROM has been installed successfully and there were no issues in between of the installation process. Flashing ROM successfully is also a kind of skill where many people stuck in boot loop still even after flashing a ROM since so many days. So fast forward we are here on the setup where you can just select all the languages and everything you want 
Again, let me fast forward it and let's meet at the main page. And yes, that's how we set up and now the ROM is completely set. And all the options just like you see in Android 14 ROMs and everything else looks pretty much simple. Some of the different loading animations are included. And this is something Infinity Suite where you will get all the customizations at one place. It is nothing but the ROM's in-house customization center. Moving to the about phone section, if you scroll down, you will get all the information of the phone. Click on Android version, you will get this look where you will have all the information about the device. In my opinion, this ROM is at the beta stage and this might be the first build. So they haven't included much of the stuffs. But surely some stuffs are pretty much interesting and they are in the league of the Android 14 ROMs and surely we can expect a whole lot of improvisations from them. So I do have big hopes and they might come up with new updates and a whole lot of new things. Moving further, you will see this list view kind of view with nothing such fancy stuffs. In Infinity Suite, you will get all this kind of customization. Also, one customization is regarding the wallpaper. They have some pretty good and pretty cute kind of wallpapers where you can select any of it and also the clock style which you can keep on the lock screen. They actually included the live clock which when you can select the clock will run on the background on your lock screen. And to be very honest in Android 14 ROM I have seen this for the very first time that the clock customization is made in a way where the live clock will be there just like the live wallpaper. So when you okay the double tap is not working so when you press the power button you will see this live clock and it looks pretty much beautiful. So that's how it is. So some of this stuff which they have included is pretty much nice and I have seen for the first time. Let's see what all future updates they bring in. So that's it for this video guys. If you like this video must hit that like button and also subscribe this channel for more such updates upcoming. Until then see you guys again in the next one. Until then peace out.